it looks like Nick E30 has uh, has had enough of stream snipers of your shit, essentially. Um, I'm not here to talk shit about Nick. This is not a talk shit about Nick po- podcast. Um, I think that Nick was at, Nick was actually pretty famous prior to 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 his you know rise in let's say search in the past you know couple of weeks or whatever. Um, I didn't even know that Nick was trending until like I started seeing all the videos on TikTok. Like every time I would scroll, I'd like Nick, 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 Nick. It was just it was everything was about Nick, and I was like, what the hell is happening, right? And I think that um. His essentially what happened, which I think uh, Cypher PK talked about this, which I could probably look up the video in a second. Um, I'm going to show you a bunch of diff- different clips, but uh, Cypher PK did a video on how Nick got so famous so quick. Um, again, wasn't an overnight success, but um, how he started to get like search volume and, and everything else and a lot, you know, a lot more popular in the streams and a lot more popular in TikTok and whatever else. Um, it was because of the one clip I think I posted, I reposted it on my channel um, just as like a, you know, this is like the original clip. Um, it was the, I am the King thing where Optim with Optimus primal and then him as Optimus prime. And he walks up, he walks up to, um, him, uh, to Optimus primal. Um, and he shoots him in the face with a shotgun. And then everybody else appears behind him. They are all cloaked and now they appear behind him. And they shoot him, and he's like, "Oh crap!" And they sh- and they gun and then, and then they gun him down, right? So, um, essentially, he's he is famous for this. He does a lot of like custom matches, like for like trending topics. It looks like for like so for Transformers, it was Optimus Primal versus Prime. Um, I think he did like some Star Wars ones too. I, I saw a couple of those. Um, but he likes to kind of be like a director of his own movie because Fortnite has that ability where you can kind of be your own director and you can do all the different types of things that you want to do. Uh, this is kind of dark. Actually, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to bring up the light a little bit. Um, but you know, um, I, I think that, um, you know, that Nick is essentially, he wants to be his own director as far as movies or movie shots or some cool like clips or whatever else. And he he does a good job at it. I I must say again, he was he did not get famous from this interaction. He just got more famous from this interaction. Uh, so essentially, what he did prior to that was he just he would. I mean, he still kind of is. He's like a G-rated, you know, content creator. So essentially, he doesn't, you know, he doesn't he doesn't curse or whatever else. He have, I think he's slipped up a couple times. Some people have found a few things. I've also seen some like AI generated stuff where he says the N word. Um, and also stuff where like, you know, other people voice over trying to sound like him and they say the N word. I don't think he really said, said that. I don't hundred percent know. Uh, there was one clip where I think he sang or whatever. And he said the N word, but he was like, it's a part of the song or whatever. So it is what it is. I'm not fucking here to judge him. I don't give a shit. At the end of the day, um, I think, uh, he ended up actually getting griefed a lot more often because of the TikTok stuff, because people wanted their clips and whatever else. Um, you know, and to piss him off and whatever else. And that is kind of the reason why he's kind of taking a step back. And I was actually surprised that he, uh, he couldn't handle it at the end of the day. I think it's just because Nick is one of those creators that I talked about a lot in my podcast where he just likes to have fun. He doesn't like to, um, you know, he doesn't like to get frustrated while playing video games. He likes to have fun do- doing it. So if he's not ha- having fun, he's going to, he's going to stop because he's an adult. He's I mean, he looks like he's probably, he's probably like, you know, late twenties or early, early thirties. I mean, if, if, you know, if he's not, I apologize, but, <laughs> um, I'll, I'll look, I'll, I'll, I'll look up his age along with showing you guys the, uh, the clips in a second. But, um, yeah, I mean, you know, he seems like the type of guy where he's going to, he's going to take a step back if he's not having fun tr- truly and he's not really getting, um, you know, he's not getting the, the enjoyment out, 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 out of it that he really, you know, that he wants to, you know, he wants to stream, you know, he likes to stream. He likes to, in, in, to entertain people. He likes to be G G rated. If he doesn't get that, he's not going to, he's not going to do it any, any, anymore, which I, which I respect. That's one of the most respectful things you, you, you could see in a content creator or even your favorite streamer. Um, but he's taking a year off a, a year. Uh, Nick, Nick, a 30 is taking off a full year. So I, I want you to really s- let that sink in for a second. That's a long time. I mean, it must the griefing must have gotten that bad to where he's taken off a full entire year. That's crazy. Uh, 
it's it's it's, t- it's a tough pill to swallow even for me but let's let's take a look at some, at some of the clips here's 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 one of them i love streaming man you know obviously recently with all these tiktoks and whatnot it's like yeah we have more viewers but i mean honestly it makes streaming way worse but you know with that comes a lot of negative a lot more negative than i think positive in my opinion but i'm gonna take a little bit of a break from uh streaming i'm taking one year off and i'm not streaming again now that a a a full year of not streaming is is a lot is a long time especially for griefing so it must have been got it must have gotten that bad to the point where he said i don't want to deal with this shit anymore um but good for him though seriously good for him i'm glad he's taking a year off Enjoy the year off and come back. I guarantee you he's going to be strong, stronger than, than ever because he knows his limits. And that's the thing that Tifu str- struggled with, I, th- I think, because he all of a sudden had this whole, like, I'm done with social media because he felt like he was so lost. I think Nick is le- legitimately doing what he does best at, and just looking out for himself, which is exactly what you want your, your streaming the, the person that you know that you watch to, to do you want them to look out for, for for them not always for the money or for the the, the viewers and whatever else uh, he might still be posting content i don't know he didn't didn't specify it in this clip uh but you know he's doing better than ever his his numbers are up he's probably making a lot more money brought on a whole new pe- a whole new you know bunch of people onto his stream and everything you know so it's like his numbers are better than ever, but he just doesn't want to do it any, anymore. At least for, you know, he wants to take a break, which again, great, great for him. I think that's something that we all need to kind of take. Um, we need to, we need to take what he's doing and apply it to our own lives. That's exactly what we need to do. What Nick is doing, we need to take and just apply to ourselves. If you feel burnt out, dude, change, change of pace. It's just, it's just that simple. Now let's go to, uh, let's go to another clip that he kind of talks about. Um, Sorry about the vibes, guys. Just, you know, it's annoying, man. I feel like I haven't been able to play Battle Royale or, like, do anything in the past, like, week because of all these annoying little stream snipers, you know? These are all done by Daily Clips Central, by the way. I actually, like, I don't know what to do. Like, isn't that weird that I'm having problems playing Fortnite because of it? Like, it's the worst it's ever been for me, right? Like, I've had... On YouTube, I've streamed to 30,000 people. I've streamed events for 100,000 people. That's a lot of people, man. And, you know, on Twitch, I've streamed. And, like, now, just even 8,000 viewers, 9,000 viewers. Like, stream sniping right now is the worst it's ever been for me because I have all these people that just want to get clips and post yep. it because they it's want trending on TikTok. So, so they want to get their clip. And I don't know what to do. Like, I can't play Fortnite. It's imp- Like, as dumb as that sounds, as entitled as that sounds, and as, like... You know what I mean? I know people don't want to hear that. They think it's like you're entitled, but bro, I literally cannot play Fortnite. Every single game I'm getting stream sniped and pushed by 10 people minimum, okay? And then like I try to do these collabs and you have people griefing in these customs. Like it just ruins everything. And I get it. Okay, Nick, just don't stream. But like that's part of my job and that's what I do. That's like, you know what I mean? I feel like all these little kids that are griefing and messing it up. So, so the people that the people that say don't just don't stream, yeah, you're stupid because that's his job. At the end of the day, his job is to stream to people. I mean, that's how a lot of times that's how he gets his money too by you know co- collaborations, by sponsorships, is streaming. Like YouTube re- re- revenue is not that much. It's it, most of the time YouTube revenue or you know. Ad re- revenue from any plat- platform is like less than 5% of somebody's in- income. So you need to understand that. Less than 5%. Even if it's a even if it's a million dollars a year, it's still like less than 5%. 10% is like generous for a lot for a lot of content creators. A lot of times they're their own merch stores, their own, you know, uh pro- products, their um business ventures, sponsorships, those are all the things that are getting them the actual money that they're making, you know? So just keep that in mind. Like, bro, I literally cannot play Fortnite. Every single game I'm getting stream sniped and pushed by 10 of these collabs and you have people griefing in these customs. Like, it just, but like, that's part of my job and that's what I do. That's like, you know what I mean? I feel like all these little kids that are griefing and messing it up. I just wish Epic would do something. Like that's all I really can say. 
I wish if I could report them or block them, they would genuinely just get banned right away. The only thing I can do is ban them from my customs. But even then, there's like thousands, hundreds of thousands of people on TikTok seeing the clips, and there's always that one person out of the hundred thousand that sees it, and then they want to do it. And like, what do I do? I'm honestly, I'm so sick of it. I, I really, really am. I just don't know what to do. And, like, I'm not trying to get sympathy here. Like, I genuinely, I'll go to sleep and I'll have a better day tomorrow. But, like, dude, I'm just annoyed. Like, what am I going to do tomorrow then when I want to play my bat a battle royale? Like, a freaking battle royale game, man. I want to play a regular game and I can't play it. I want to play zero build and I can't play it. How am I supposed to survive when I have ten people pushing me? And I've had stream snipers before. Even when you have 5,000 people watching, you still get stream snipers. But now, even though it's, like, roughly the same viewers, like 8,000, 9,000, because everyone wants to clip, there's way more people trying to stream snipe and, and mess up my game. So I don't know. I really don't know what I'm supposed to do. Before you, it's true, you know, and it really is true. Oh, actually, let's take a look at um, let's take a look at uh, what is it called? The age. What's Nick Thirty's age? He was born in 1995. So he's he's 28. I was born in 93. So 28-ish. 20, 27, 28, 20, 29. He could be any, anywhere around those ages right right now. So he's so he's 28 essentially right now. It says it right 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 here. Um I, I actually didn't see that, which is kind of funny. But um yeah, I mean that's that's the thing you have to take into account. You know, he's 28. He's you know, he's getting to that. You know, I've realized that. You know, the farther you get into your twenties, the less bullshit you're willing to tolerate. Um, I remember when, when I was when I was like eighteen, I was I was tolerating people's shit left and right. Like I was just tolerating shit because I didn't know shit. Right? I don't know shit now, obviously, but like I was tolerating people's shit on 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 the on the, on the daily. And I realized once I got further into my twenties and I got more experience in the job market, whatever else, and just how people react and act in general. I realized that I just kind of just don't really get, give a shit anymore. Like I, I, I don't tolerate, I don't tolerate bullshit. Number one, I, I don't care about your bullshit. Number number two, I honestly don't care about talking shit about other pe people. Like if you're if you're doing that, you're wasting my time. Like you're not if you're talking shit about somebody else, especially people that I know, it's like you're wasting my time. Like you're not you're not my friend group. Let's let's put it that that way. You know, so anyone that comes on my channel, goes in my comments and talks shit, like you're wasting your time. Like honestly. I'm, you're literally, you, there's no headspace in here for, for you. I don't give a shit. Like if you're saying that my content's trash, then just don't watch it. Like, I, I mean, it's going to get better over time because I'm not a, I'm not fucking Mr. Beast. I've been doing this for like fucking 15 years. Like I've been doing this for five, maybe, you know? So it's like, like actually doing it for like probably two or three and trying to like improve and stuff like that. Like these podcasts are just going to get better. I'm just going to get be better, better equipment. I'm going to get a, you know, an actual space where I can actually have like a podcast. I'm going to get a better mi microphone. Like that shit's going to happen o over time. This is just going to get better, but it's like, I can't just improve overnight. That's you know, like, you also realize when, when you get older, that's another thing too, that you just don't just approve, like improve overnight. It's not going to happen in anything you do. So, um, know that if you're sitting here talking shit about my stuff, like, you're, you hold no headspace in, in here. Like you're just, you're just a wasting your time and you're wasting my time. That's why a lot of times I just say, Hey, have, have a good life. Cause I'm going to be honest with, with you. If you're sitting here talking shit on my stuff about how much I suck about how bad my videos are like something in your life, you're avoiding, you're avoiding something in your life. So I know for a fact that you got a problem going on in your life that you're just not willing to go actually like deal with. So if you're doing that, go deal with the thing that you have to deal with in your life because go, coming online and talking shit to random people online is not going to make you feel feel any better. It, it, it's a good dopamine hit. Yeah, I'll, I made that guy's day fucking worse, but know that if you did that to me, like you didn't make my day worse. I honestly don't give a shit. Like the 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 hate actually makes me know that I'm doing something right. Like if there's people on my videos that are constantly saying that my videos are amazing, I know that my videos are not amazing. Like my videos are not amazing. I know that. Like, so it's like, 
if I'm just making good, if I'm making decent videos and people are like, oh my God, it's so good. It's so good. You're, 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 you're in the wrong audience. People have to be talking shit to you, whether it be crit criticizing you constructively or whether they're just be talking shit about your stuff for like no reason. Cause their life sucks. Like I, I need those people to like, know that I'm doing something right. So if you're on my videos talking shit, I know I'm doing some, 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 then I know I'm doing something that's actually going to change my life or your life or whatever. Like I know I'm doing something right. So Thank you for the people that talk shit, but know that there's nothing up here that I care about what you say. So I'm always, I'm either going to talk shit back to you because I, cause I, I think it's funny or I'm going to just be like, have, have a great rest of your week. Cause I know that you're having a shitty day or a shitty week or a shitty life. So figure it out. And then may, maybe you'll come back to me and then you'll be like, oh yeah, you, you were right or whatever. Cause I've had people talk shit to me and I've literally been like, Hey, that's all good, man. I hope everything goes well in your life. And then they're like, oh yeah, I was just really, really mad. I'm sorry. I've had people do that shit before too. So I know that you're doing something wrong or your, your, your day is bad or your life is bad. Fix it. It's okay. Don't, you don't have to take it out on people online because there are people that are, that don't have tough skin like, like like I do and they will legitimately like fucking kill themselves sometimes or they'll be beating themselves up the entire time because of your stupid dumbass comment. Make your make sure you, you keep your house in order before you start cr criticizing other, other, other people's houses. The second point to that is nobody that's doing more than you will ever criticize you because guess what? They're doing more than you. They don't care about your stuff. Or if there are people that are just working as much as you are, they won't take their time to criticize you. Maybe constructively, but not say that you're fat or you're ugly or you have you wear glasses or you have a stutter. Like, no one's going to fucking say that shit that's actually doing more than you or the same amount as you. Because they're too focused on their own objectives to actually make, to make, to just like take time out of their day to talk shit to you. That's anyone that's curating content that's listening to this. That's anyone that's watching my, my, my videos in general. This this applies to anything, not just content creation, business, schooling, anything. If there's any if there's ever anyone talking shit to you, even if it's your friend or your parents, like they're not doing more than you are right now. Or they or, or they don't understand, especially your parents, they just don't understand the value of what you're doing. So keep doing what you're doing. Make sure that you're improving a little bit each time. If you're not doing that, then you're just wasting your time. So that's my pep talk for for the, for the, for the day. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. What 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 what, what are we at as far as time? Ah, 17 minutes. Oh man, I don't even know what else to talk about. <laughs> Nick, I do want I do want to talk about this though. Um, you know, Nick, I kind of got off on a tangent, but Nick being 38 or 28 um does say a lot about his character and does say a lot about his, you know, about his overall demeanor. You know, it's like he, he's not in it for the money. He's also not in it for the fame. He's in it just to kind of make fun videos and make, I mean, you can tell just by the videos that he makes, like he makes videos where he's like the, the, the director and he kind of like directs his own scenes with like his, you know, sub, sub, subscribers. So the, the fact that people grief and the fact that people do dumb shit to piss him off makes no sense to me. Like, it's just like, you're going to be a part of something bigger, but a lot of people don't think like that, which, which is the problem. Some people just think like, oh, I can get a quick dopamine hit from like 100 views or 200 views or 1,000 views from Nick being pissed off because I griefed his game. Like, that's the that's the mindset that people have, which is like, you got to think more long term than just like right in front of you. Like, there there is so, there is so much in your life where you are going to think up front and that's it. But in reality, you're going to have to think more long term. Being a part of Nick A's, uh, you know, stream itself and like being able to be a part of that to like make a cool clip. I don't know if he like, I, I don't, I don't know if he puts, you know, the names of people that do the clips, you know, in, in the videos or whatever. If, if he does, that's awesome. If he doesn't, I mean, yeah, what, whatever, but like you're, you're a part of something lar larger. You're making somebody else happy, which is a thing that you're doing. And he's plus he's giving V bucks to people, is, isn't he for stuff like that? So it's like, you know. Why, why would you ruin that for, for yourself just to get a clip that's going to get like a couple thousand views? Like, that's the one thing I learned about co content creation too. It's like, if you're just posting clips of Nick, of Nick A30, like, or anything, you're just making him more famous. You're not making yourself famous. So me reposting Nick's videos, I'm not trying to be famous. Like, I'm just getting the word out there for Nick. Like, if I stitch somebody's video or if I use their clips or whatever else and I tag them and whatever, like, I'm not doing it to make myself famous. Like, unless my face is in the video, nobody really gives a shit. So just know that if you're like, you know, um, I, I don't know, 
Golden Shower Lover 62 or 69, like, nobody gives a shit about your clip of Nick. Like, they, they care about the, the, like, they care about Nick, the clip of Nick. Like, they're not going to follow you because you made that clip. Like, they don't give a shit about you. Sorry, the, sorry to be so harsh, but that's, like, the God honest truth. Like, if you're not, if you're, <laughs> if you're not, you know, in the clip, or if you're not, if your face is in, in the clip, like, people aren't following you for, for you. They're following you because your channel posts that kind of story, that kind of stuff, because they're there for Nick. Or they're there to watch Nick suffer. So they're they're on your side, but they're not they don't really care about you. That's the one thing I had to learn and like turn turn my own kind of like memory off, or it's not the right word, but turn my own mind around. It's like nobody cares about the clip that you post unless you're in it. And even then they still don't care about you being in it. Like I have mul I have a few multi million view videos, but it's like they only got me a few thousand followers and like it's not like tomorrow they're gonna like buy something from me. So it's like you have to understand that you doing this stuff, you doing this this clip of Nick, you being a dick to him, it's just gonna make him more famous, not you. It's just that's the God honest truth again. It's like so it would it would be better for you just to make him happy, not get him any clips so that he doesn't get super famous. From like everybody posting shit about him being upset or him being the king or whatever, like it's better for you just to be in the shadows, like at, at that at that point, or not even be in the shadows, but get 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 just get your V bucks. You know what I mean? Like I don't know. I, <coughs> I need some water here. I've been talking for a little bit, but hopefully you understand my my point to to this whole thing. Not not sponsored, by the way. Uh, my my wife got that for me. I don't. I would not have bought that to be honest with with you, but I do like the color though. I do like I do like the blue color. It's pretty nice. So I'm gonna go try to play some Gears of War, and if it if it screws me over, then I'm probably gonna scream into a pillow for about five or ten minutes, just straight, just ah, just scream into a pillow. Um, but if you have watched this far, you have to like the video, and if you do like the content, please comment down below how, how much you like it or, or how much you, you, you hate it, because as we talked about, either way, it doesn't really change the the, the outcome. Um, I'm going to tell you to have a great day. Be sure to just, be sure to subscribe. Hold on. <laughs> be sure to subscribe, too, to the channel. Massive Gaming and the Level Up Gaming Pod. I don't know if anyone ever knew, knew that. We're like we're like 25 episodes in right now. This podcast is called Level Up Colon Gaming Brief. Just FYI. So if you like this, make sure you make sure you subscribe. All right. Thank you very much, and enjoy the rest of your weekend.